Hey, International Poetry Circle, it's me, Tara Skirtu, and I'm back today with my wonderful friend, Bosnian poet, Naida Mojkic. Naida, thanks for being here with us today. Where are you? Thank you for calling me, Tara, uh, for inviting me uh, to, to your reading. And I'm in Bosnia, and I, I'm in the countryside. Uh, at the moment, I live in the countryside, and I just get back from uh, from a walk. We had uh, rain a uh, whole day, and uh, now uh, I think three hours ago the rain stopped, and I went to the forest, and I get back with some fresh <laughs> forest flowers. Oh, I love those. <laughs> We were talking uh, Poetry Circle a moment before we hit record about how Naida can go into the forest very easily. And I'm on a main street in downtown Bucharest. Uh, so I've just been in my apartment since March. And we were talking about the how the forest is getting more dangerous because it has a lot of snakes <laughs> in Bosnia. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the uh, late spring now and they have their youngs and they started to crawl out of their nests. And uh, my son and, and I, we saw several, uh, but they were afraid more of us than we were afraid of them. Uh, but you have to use to, uh, to the forest creatures uh, if you uh, want to walk through the forest, because obviously we are on their territory and uh, it's, you know, a normal, for the snake to live in a, it would be a problem if it's here and if it's in your main street but i think <laughs> in the countryside it's it's not it's not a problem uh yeah. the problem is the i think uh the fear from the media from the books uh, that is inside of us uh, about the snakes they are not that dangerous uh, i think that my son uh, realized um, that we the, the fear that we have for the for example the snakes uh, he never saw a snake before this this spring he never saw it like a meter away uh, and as we saw them you know like when we saw the first one he said oh I never want to go back <laughs> and then we saw the second one and he was like oh can I see it you know from the clothes and now he's even I, th I think, oh, there is a snake. So I think uh, we are afraid of the unknown because it, it's unknown world and the unknown territory, especially you can see that in the kids. Yeah, you said something before I hit record um, that I actually wrote down on the back of the sheet of paper when we were talking about the snakes. And you said something about how when they're in an open field, they're afraid of birds. Uh, and it is, it is true, it's funny, the, the things that we are afraid of, the things we can't control. Um, and you were saying it rained all day in Bosnia, where you are yeah. today? Yeah, it started this morning and it was uh, a heavy rain the whole day. And you can feel the moist in the air and it's not very pleasant to go for a walk. But it's a 10 minutes drive into the hills uh, from my home. And uh, that is, I think, uh, some, some of the uh, beautiful things when you live uh, near the, the, the countryside. Yeah. I think 15 days ago, uh, but people who live here, they, uh, they don't want to, you know, to, to admit that they, um, there, there is, the, 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 I think, the cultural problem. They don't want to um, admit, like my mom, that she lives uh, in the forest. I made a video with a friend 15 days ago, and uh, there is just, I think, one road. And uh, the whole Bosnia is, uh, has a lot of greens. And uh, when you go to the main, to the capital, you will see from the main street in the capital, you see the forests. So it's not like the uh, New York, the Bosnia has like, I think, uh, 2 million people, maybe even less. So uh, in that video 15 days ago, I said that I grew up in a house that is uh, in the forest. And my mom said, well, your house is not in the forest. But I said, but through every window, I see the forest, I see the hill. And she said, yeah, but it's still, it's not in the forest. So uh, 
basically I don't live in the forest like in the forest, but <laughs> it's uh, everywhere. Where, everywhere you looked, there is a forest in the city. There is a five minutes away from my home. Uh, you can see the forest. So that you can, sounds like heaven to me right now. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Now it, it it is a heaven, and I think people uh, in in some some way they reconnected with the nature yeah and, uh, we're reconnecting to a lot of really basic life yeah. things right now yeah. i love that it happened to rain today because um you had sent me some poems and we decided before the rain that we were going to read two of your poems about rain <laughs> that yeah. are from a book of yours called rain <laughs> and these poems, um, I believe, are all connected to each other and to rain, and they're trying to explain the world through rain or metaphorical rain. Is, is, am I getting yes. that right? I, yeah, now I, I, I realize that I forgot to tell you the, the main thing that inspired me to write this whole book that was published, I think, two years ago. Uh, and now the, the same thing happens again. I didn't realize until you mentioned uh, that uh, the, the thing the, between the rain and my book and our meeting, I was looking forward to this meeting really because uh, the festival that we met this uh, this uh, last autumn, yeah. Oh, we met uh, everybody. And, we met at a festival yeah, I mean, <laughs> in Albania and Macedonia um, last yeah. fall. Yeah, and it was it was beautiful, and uh, before I I don't know while we were at the festival, was it raining? I'm not sure. I don't think that there was rain. But uh, I had a several festivals and I had a several readings and I have a, a several, you know, callings from my friends to the weddings. And every time when I would go to the festival or to somebody's wedding, there was rain. <laughs> and I yeah, really, I start, and the people, they, they started to, you know, uh, besides me, they started to, to see that, to feel that. And uh, the, the festival, um, I think, Mediterranean, uh, the festival for the young artists in uh, Albania, I think in 2017, mm -hmm. uh, there was a whole month without the rain. And it was a beautiful day, and I had a reading in the park, and... 10 minutes before my reading, the rain started to fall. And then uh, and at that moment, I realized, you know, the whole thing uh, about me and the rain. Wherever I go, there is rain. Why? And uh, today, the, the same thing happens, but it's not. <laughs> well, I hope you bring rain here okay. because I love rain and it feels extra alive outside when it rains right now, when you're alone, you know, in quarantine. So uh, we're going to read two short poems um, from this book, Rain. How do you say the word, uh, the title of your book in Bosnian? Isha, Isha. Uh, but th there is, a, we, we spoke also about the translations. I, there is another beautiful word in Bosnia for, uh, I don't know in English, but in Bosnia we have two words uh, for the rain. One is dajd, it's very old, world uh, people don't use that anymore but uh, the 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 dashed left in another word uh, in an animal that is called dash devinyak and it's the some sort of the lizard comes out after the rain you know the rain falls and you can see uh, the the little i think it's uh, green and yellow more yellow uh, just in the minutes in the hours after the rain and uh, no more, ne never more, you know. So uh, the, the words are very, you know, uh, I've read uh, in, in somebody's book that words come out as they, uh, as they want, not as, as they like, you know, that we don't so own true. the words. The words own, oh. <laughs> yeah. It makes me yeah. think of how the, we're not quite in control of our poems, although we are con in control of, you know, the words put down, but the poems, there's something about the poems that they, they let us know when they click into place. Um, so this, oh, your translations are by Novka Blagojevic. And yes. we're going to read, I'm going to read the English translations, 
and Naida is going to read the original Bosnian. So we'll start with A Bucket of Rain. Will you please read the original? Kanta s kišom. Kada kiša pada u kantu, ona postaje samo ideja. Kiša kroz koju dosežemo oblake. Kada kiša pada u kantu, ona postaje zaštićeno od vjetra dijete koji bezbrižno spava. Kada kiša pada u kantu, kao povijest koja se ponavlja, ona postaje sjećanje gdje je svijet nekad bio. Hvala. Thank you. Beautiful. A bucket of rain. When the rain falls into a bucket, it becomes an idea only. The rain that helps us reach the clouds. When the rain falls into a bucket, it becomes sheltered from the wind. Child, sleeping carefree. When the rain falls into a bucket, like the history that repeats itself, it becomes a memory of where the world had once been. What a gorgeous little poem. <laughs> yeah. There's a word uh, at, towards the end, like the history that repeats itself. We were talking about, well, what kind of history is this? And you told me this word, um, poviest. Uh, will you let everyone know what this word is? Because it, it's, it's so, uh, I, I don't know if we have this in one word in English. Yeah, we have two words in Bosnian. We have uh, history and po po history as historia, and also poviest. Uh, for me, uh, poviest is more intimate word. Uh, some some people think that they are uh, similar, and some people uh, connect word poviest uh, with word uh, with, with the Croatian language. But I think. Uh, uh, it's the very old, like the dust, like the rain. Uh, it's the older word, and um, the specific of the word is, uh, for me, was always interesting, because uh, in the rain, uh, poviest, in the word, sorry, uh, poviest, uh, the only two letters uh, are different from the. Um, word consciousness if you put out the words uh, letters po and put an s you will get a sviest which is consciousness and uh, for i always uh, connect were, be were better connected to the word poviest because it, of the intimacy of that word uh, other than history you know when you say history it means um history uh, history when i look at the history for me it's not good because yeah, uh, it makes me wait in blood. yeah it's written in blood it's in uh when when you say history for me i see this i hear the sound of the chains i see the blood i see you know all the words but when you say poviest uh there is something you know uh, that softens um the the memory i think the po poviest is more connected to the to the meaning of the memory that Every one of us have and uh, built, you know, unique, you know, uh, unique memory of yeah. the own individuals. Yeah. So I wish more they, of our histories. I wish more of our histories had um, uh, consciousness, a memory of consciousness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. A beautiful word. Wow. Wow. And we're going to read another poem uh, from Rain. It's called "The Man and the Rain." And will you please read the original poem first? Yes. Čovjek i kiš. Čovjek na obal mora sluša kišu. On ne gleda u more. Iz mile i uplašene krabe i kornjače. Čovjek sluša kišu. On zna da je večera na stolu. On sluša kišu. Lepto. Ti kupljaju iza njegovih leđa. On sluša kišu. On piše viši. Kiša je njegova kuća. Thank you. Thank you. The man and the rain. At the seashore, 
The man is listening to the rain. He is not looking at the sea from which frightened crabs and turtles crawl. The man is listening to the rain. He knows dinner is on the table. He is listening to the rain. He hears the birds gathering behind his back. He is listening to the rain. He is writing about the rain. The rain is his home. Wonderful. I love these. As I, told you, I like to hear your voice. I like the way you're reading. <laughs> Thank you. I love to hear your voice and I like the way you read. I hope uh, we didn't have too much Zoom interference. It was freezing up a little bit before. Um, but actually, now I want to check to see if it's <laughs> raining outside because you told me you bring the rain. It's, it's not raining, but it's a little gray. But I, I really hope you brought the rain to Bucharest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you didn't have a rain today? Not yet. No, not at, unless it happened. I think, I, didn't it will come. I think it will come tonight for sure. I think you will have a rain. <laughs> We're testing the the I internet. Think, yeah, it's not just it's not just about me. I think uh, the clouds move from the sea, the way from you know Bosnia and da, 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 all the way to the Bucharest. Well, I hope they da, 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 come over here um, because it's <laughs> nice to sleep in the rain. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so excited to share your poems. Um, and um, can you let people know about where to find some of your work in English? Well, there, there are a lot of magazine, but I don't know uh, in the internet, you mean? I, I think uh, there is a magazine uh, in uh, UK, uh, International Times, yes, International Times. Uh, I, they have some, I think some, they published some of my poems, I think uh, maybe five years ago and uh, maybe a few months ago. And it's an underground, I think, magazine. Uh, but I, I, I think that, uh, it is something that you can, you know, read and understand, <laughs> because it's not easy, you know, to translate. Uh, you have to. I always thought that uh, a poet can translate poems. If it, poems need to be polished, and only the poet can do the polishing thing. I am uh, the translator. Yeah. I, I know people have different theories about translation, but to me, I'm hesitant to say always, but I think 99.9% .9 of the time, uh, poets translate poems best because there's some kind of intuitive instinct about how to put it together, like, like a, the perfectly uh, assembled puzzle that a poem is. Um, so I, I, I'm with you on that. Yeah, uh, I have to say, I think maybe two weeks ago, I worked with my students, uh, Edgar Allan Poe's Raven, The Raven. And it was the first time that I um, realized that I never saw the, the poem in original, in English, The Raven, just in, in our language. And it sounds, sounds wonderful. And uh, the po it was the poet who translated, you know, I think, mm -hmm. 50, 70, 18 years, 80 years ago, the poem from English. And, you know, the moment that I, I saw the original and the translation, I knew that there are several translations of the Raven, but uh, the ones that I liked the best, I knew that it was a poet. And it was not just, um, you know, some poet. He was a very popular in his time, you know, and he was a great poet. So I can't remember the name, but, uh, there is that, that that feeling. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Well, I'm so happy that we have uh, a number of your poems in English, and this makes me want to read more from Rain. I hope Rain gets published in English. Yes, thank you. Thank you, yeah. uh, thank you so much uh, for being here with us, and um, it was a joy. And everybody, International Poetry Circle, please keep your videos coming. Please stay safe and well. Um, thank you. And I hope you bring the rain. Yeah, thank you. I hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.
Stay safe.